Hey everybody, today we'll be taking a closer look at water mixable oils. Now, I don't know about you, but I was raised with the simple truth that water and oil don't mix. And uh, just in case I was losing my mind, I decided to run a few tests to see if that was the case and I remembered it accurately. You know, I tried mixing it. I tried shaking it. But at the end of the day, water plus oil does not mix. So knowing that water and oil don't mix, how can a company claim that there's such a thing as water mixable oil paint? That's what we're going to be trying to prove today. Can water mixable oil paint really hold its own to be called an oil paint compared to an actual oil paint standard? We're going to try blending them, cleaning them up, everything in between, and see if we can prove it. So today we're going to be using Lucas Berlin water mixable oil colors as our standard to see how they compare to a traditional uh, artist quality oil paint. The first thing I'm going to do is put uh, them down on a palette next to each other, pull them out and see how they compare and uh, see if we can tell a big difference between the two of them. So the next thing we're going to test is how water mixable oils thin with water compared to traditional oils with thinner to see if they pull down and thin the same way or if they act differently. Now uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, just to have a little bit of a control is just to try to thin uh, traditional oil paint with water and see what that looks like. This is exactly what I expected would happen when you mixed uh, traditional oil paint with regular old water. This is not a thinned oil paint. This is not a blend at all. Now let's see what it's supposed to look like when you mix traditional oil paint with traditional paint thinner. This is more like it. It's almost like butter that's been melted. Uh, that should be the consistency. Now we're gonna do our final mix down with water mixable oils and water. And the purpose of this is to see how they compare to traditional oils thin with thinner versus these oils just thin with water. And just so there's no tricks, water. just like melted butter. The water has cut through the water mixable oil paint in the same way that the thinner has cut through the traditional oil paint. You can see that it's uh, blended into one uh, luscious color. There's no breaking. It's uh, a homogeneous mixture of water and paint. Next up, what we're gonna try to do is see how they compare when mixing water mixable oils to traditional oils. Uh, we're not looking for tone or hue, but just how well they blend together compared to regular oils. Start with traditional oil and with water mixable oil. Here we go. Okay, I think this is a pretty successful test. You'll see that both the traditional oil and water mixable oil made a beautiful green, blended together nicely. So I think we're ready for our next test, which is the body test. We're gonna see if we can get the same buttery consistency and the same impasto qualities of an oil paint with a water mixable oil paint than the traditional. Well, there you go. You can see that the water mixable oil paint can hold its own compared to the traditional oil in terms of height, build, and impasto qualities that you'll get out of a regular oil paint. That's a great thing to know. So the last thing we're gonna test today are how water mixable oils clean up with water in the same way the traditional oils clean up with thinner. Yeah, that's water. They both came out clean using their respective thinners. We used water for the water mixable oils and thinner for the uh, traditional oils, and they're both clean. Water mixable oils, who knew? Now, how exactly do scientists make this? Well, by using an oil medium in which one end of the molecule has been altered to bind loosely to water molecules, as in a solution, they're able to make water mixable oils. So there you have it. Water mixable oils can be a great alternative to traditional oil paint. And uh, for those of you that are curious why one might use water mixable oils instead of traditional oils, well, the answer is simple. Because they're water mixable, you don't have to use solvents or toxic thinners because you can just use regular old water. And uh, the Lucas Berlin water mixable oils, as you saw here, do great at holding up to the standard of traditional oil paint. So I hope you enjoyed this series of Prove It, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Tacos, burgers, or burgers? And I say you go <coughs> for burgers. <laughs> that was bad timing. <laughs> oh, it's backwash blue. <laughs>